In this video, we'll take a closer look at using LabVIEW to program your LEGO Mindstorms NXT robot to do something cool. We'll write a program using the ultrasonic distance sensors to always move your robot a fixed distance to an object in front of it. Let's take a closer look at the Robot Project Center. We'll start by connecting to our NXT. You can select Find NXT to scan for robots that are connected either via USB or Bluetooth to your computer. Once you connect to an NXT, you can see information about the robot like the battery status and memory usage. Once connected to the NXT, you can open the schematic editor to configure your robot. We already have a right motor connected to port B, so let's add another motor to port C and call it left motor. We'll also add an ultrasonic distance sensor to port 4. In the same way we can get live data from our sensors, we can also send commands to our motors. Let's select left motor and click go to move our motor forwards and backwards. Now, let's create a new program, or VI. When you select New VI, you can create a program to either target to the NXT or target to the computer. When a VI is targeted to the NXT, the code is downloaded and run on the NXT, so you can disconnect the NXT from your computer to run. When a VI is targeted to the computer, the code is run on the computer and commands are sent and received from the NXT. This is useful if you want to create a live front panel user interface for your robot. Let's create a VI that is targeted to the computer and call it Move to Distance. Let's go to the block diagram and drop a sensor function. Select Ultrasonic and create a constant to specify port 4. We can display the sensor data on a chart on the front panel. Right click on the front panel and select Waveform Chart. When the chart is created, a corresponding terminal is created on the block diagram. Let's wire the sensor output to the chart. We need to read the sensor multiple times, so let's drop a while loop around the code. To stop the loop, let's create a control on the stop condition in the bottom right corner of the loop you'll see a stop button appear on the front panel. Now let's run the program. You should see the ultrasonic sensor data on the chart until you click stop. Now let's make a decision to move or stop our motors based on the value of the ultrasonic sensor. On the front panel, let's drop a numeric slider control to specify a distance value. We'll set the value to about 30. On the block diagram, we'll drop a less than comparison function to compare the ultrasonic data with the value of the slider control. Now let's add some code to make a decision to move or stop the motors. We'll drop a case structure so we can specify different code that runs if a condition is true or false. Let's connect the output of the less than comparison to the selector of the case structure to make a decision. When the distance is less than the value we specified, which is the true case, the motor will stop. In the false case, We'll drop a motor and create a constant for ports B and C. We'll set this at 50% power. Now let's test our program.
Now that you've written your first program with LabVIEW for LEGO Mindstorms, challenge yourself to expand this program to also move the robot backwards as well as forwards to keep a fixed distance away from an object.